Today, I'll demonstrate how you can create viral TikTok Reddit stories, keep viewers engaged, and generate substantial earnings through the new TikTok Creativity Program. While Reddit story videos aren't a new phenomenon, they are a proven method that you can adopt to increase your viewership and earn money online. People thoroughly enjoy listening to stories, and among various types, horror stories tend to garner the most attention. This is because horror stories trigger an adrenaline rush in the brain effectively captivating viewers and making your videos go viral. I'll guide you on producing high-quality videos and offer effective strategies to ensure that your viewers keep returning to your account. First, let me provide a quick explanation of what Reddit video stories entail. Originally, these videos derived from Reddit posts, where individuals shared their personal stories. Subsequently, someone would convert the text to speech using AI tools, incorporating background music and video content like Minecraft gameplay, or other engaging visuals. These are the fundamental components of Reddit story videos. So without further ado, make sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this, and let's jump straight into it. First, we need a frame for the Reddit comments, but you don't have to worry about it since I've created one that you can download by following the link in the video description. After downloading the template, we must find a captivating story for the video. Although the term Reddit story might suggest that all narratives originate from Reddit, many compelling ones can be found Found on websites such as creepypasta.com. This platform offers an array of stories that can be utilized to create engaging videos that have the potential to go viral. What's more, these stories are already rated on a scale of 1 to 10, simplifying selecting the most impactful ones. Visit the website by following the link in the video description and search through the collection for a suitable story. Once you've identified a promising story, copy it and proceed to ChatGPT, where you can request the chatbot to rewrite the story from the first-person perspective. This technique fosters a stronger emotional connection between the narrator and the audience, inevitably heightening the story's intrigue and engagement. The next step is to search for non-copyrighted Minecraft parkour videos on YouTube. Once you find a video you like, copy its link and visit a YouTube to MP4 converter website. You'll find all the necessary links in the video description. Upon pasting the link in the converter, opt for the highest available quality for the download. Finally, click on the Get Link button and download. We have almost all the necessary elements to begin crafting the video. We've secured an intriguing story and cool gameplay for the background. Now our next step is to transform the text from the story into a voiceover. To achieve this, we'll utilize Eleven Labs, an AI tool that effectively converts text to speech. Eleven Labs boasts a diverse library of voices to choose from, enabling you to select the most suitable voice based on your preferences. After comparing various options, I found one that aligns well with the atmosphere of the horror Reddit stories. Let's listen to a sample. I was walking alone through the dark forest, my footsteps muffled by the fallen leaves. A strange chill ran down my spine as I heard a faint whisper in the wind, calling my name. All right, let's head back to ChatGPT to extract a portion of the story and transform it into audio. Keep in mind that one of the requirements for a TikTok video to be eligible for the creativity program and potentially generate revenue is that it must exceed one minute in length. Here's another valuable tip. Given the length of creepypasta stories, you can use one story to create multiple videos, each ranging from two to three minutes in duration. This strategy allows you to produce engaging content that can span several days. As viewers become immersed in one of your videos, they'll be irresistibly drawn to unravel the story's conclusion. This curiosity will naturally lead them to follow your profile and delve into your other creations. Now, let's load CapCut and start crafting the video. Begin by importing the necessary files. Then, add the Minecraft gameplay and adjust the project's aspect ratio to 916. Don't forget to scale the video to fill the entire screen. Following this, mute the Minecraft gameplay. Next, import the voiceover and trim the video to end when the narrator finishes speaking. After that, review the entire voiceover and remove any prolonged pauses. Once that's done, place the blank Reddit template and position it appropriately. Subsequently, insert a text box with your TikTok account name or any other text. After that, add another text box and include the title of the story available on the Creepypasta website. Once satisfied with the text's size and placement, add the verified badge, which is also included in the video description for download. Then, navigate to the text tab, select captions, and generate auto captions. After the captions are ready, choose a suitable template. In my video, 
I will apply the pop-up animation, which will reveal the text one word at a time. Following this, center the captions on the screen and scale them so they can be easier to read. Lastly, apply a stroke to the text to enhance its visibility. You can further improve your video by incorporating relevant images for specific words or sentences in the story. Visit Pexels.com, a platform offering free-to-use stock images and videos. Listen attentively to the narrative and insert images where appropriate. This unique approach will make your content pop up since not a lot of people include images in their stories. The next step is to add background music to enhance the atmosphere of the horror Reddit story. You can find copyright-free music on YouTube or visit sites such as Pixabay. If you decide to download music from YouTube, simply copy the link to the music video and use any YouTube to MP3 converter site. Once you have found the ideal background music, remember to adjust the volume to prevent comments like this one. The recommended audio level for background music is between 15 and 20 decibels. Next, navigate to the menu and export the file. Once this process is complete, your video will be ready for upload. Let's take a look at the video I made. I don't like people much, and due to a slew of personal reasons, most people don't like me either. To punctuate exactly how much I don't like being around others, I just recently purchased a new house so completely out of the way that my nearest neighbor is at least a mile and a half from me. That's right, just me and nothing but the animals and trees in all directions. Now, a lot of people would call me crazy for living out here like this. If some disaster were to happen, I'd pretty much be screwed, I know. But I'm at a point in my life where I don't think I care much about that. Well, I thought I didn't. I'm such a fool. That's it. Now you have all the necessary tools to start making Reddit story videos. Don't waste any time and start right away while the information from this video is still fresh. Use the links in the description to start creating amazing content for your TikTok account. People are making a lot of money with the new TikTok creativity program. So start now and take your place in the AI revolution. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe to see more. You can watch another of my videos by clicking here. See you next time. Bye.